Hello Aries, thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to my channel. I'm Chandra Lynn and this is going to be your summer forecast reading for 2021. Please remember that it is general, so take it how it resonates with you in your life and your situations and your experiences. Disregard the rest. It is mainly focused on the etheric and the energy, so anything revealed outside about yourself is really just to bring you more clarity and understanding. Um, to help you stay balanced and centered within yourselves as you move forward in the mastery of your own life. Thank you so much for the likes, the subscribes, the donations, and the comments. I am greatly thankful and blessed by them. Seriously. Thank you so much. Um, and with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. So... I want to say that the energy that I was picking up was indifference. Like, I wasn't sure if I was picking up anything at first. I was just kind of like, whatever. And then I realized, like, oh, that must be Aries. <laughs> that must be the Aries. I was like, whatever. Um, like, I feel like you might be getting asked questions. Like, are you okay? And you feel fine. Um... What I want to say is that I feel like you have mastered some form of self-worth and self-love. Um, and so you are naturally and easily and effortlessly disconnecting from energies that would be unbeneficial to you. Um, so... Yeah, it's a great thing. It's not it. That's a great thing. Um, that's a great thing. What's going on with Aries this summer? On the bottom of the deck, we got spring. But see your seeds grow. And the only thing I really picked up with that is feeling a bit impatient with how long it's taking these plants to grow. You got guardian angel with you are not alone. You got arrow, surround yourself with protective energy. Um, you might feel alone with being feeling like that disconnected from the other energies. You might, if people are, you know, why are you being like this? That's where this surround yourself. You could feel alone because it seems like everybody else is kind of wanting you to go back into an energy that is really unhealthy for you. Um, We got shaman, a trust in higher forces, she wolf with unleash the wild within. Sorry, y'all. And sun, enjoy success and happiness. And this one feels like it's supposed to be smack dab in the center. I'm gonna open these up a little bit more so I can. There you go. Oh, I get what you're doing now. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's get some more cards. I feel like... Um... Yeah, I feel like you've tapped into a whole, not that many, please. Um, I feel like you've really tapped into a whole new you. Um, yeah. You went on a journey to go find yourself. You know what happened when I went on a journey to go find myself? 
My guide started laughing at me really hard because I look like a dog chasing my tail. <laughs> How it went. How are you doing? Okay. Ooh. Oh, that one's nice. Okay. Amazing and beautiful. Okay, so mountain and strength. All right, so whatever this new aspect of yourself, it's almost like you're like that's probably like, yeah, you feel different because it's kind of taking up your mind all the time right now. It's taking up like your focus, I feel, because you're like, wow, am I really, am I, am I really, am I really this person? Like, um, This this reading is focused towards the Aries who is going through or has been going through a spiritual awakening. That disconnected feeling is an amazing, like amazing progress, right? You got into the self-worth, the self-love, disconnecting from energies that don't resonate. Like if it's unbeneficial, there is no point. Um, you're, you're here to, you know, embody and to fulfill and to enjoy, uh, life, not to be in a, in a constant place of like, uh, taking and draining energy. So before like, um, that not feeling alone, but constantly being surrounded. So if this is really... Whoa, boundaries. So if this is for you, huh, the messages like you've been thinking or hearing, um, probably thought you were going crazy. It's your guides just kind of, you know, letting you know you are not alone. But the fog has cleared up because you've got the ancestral generations, the sun with enjoy success and happiness, and this childhood innocence card. Like, boom, this is where you're at. This is amazing. So a lot of uh, ancestral goodies are coming in. Any kind of mastery, any kind of gifts. Um, you may find yourself just naturally being good at a lot of things without really knowing how to do them. That's going to continue to amplify. The other thing that will continue to amplify, amplify is this childhood innocence card here. So what I want to say to that is the more you come into this playfulness, the more you start trusting yourself in these energies, the more you start trusting the energies, the more you start trusting yourself, the more you just kind of are relaxed and everything is like, ooh, ah, ooh, pretty, yay, ee, and it's really quite fun. The one thing I would like to bring up right now is I'm not sure if you can see on this, on this card, but there's kind of like a lightning thunderstorm in the background. Um, that's just to let you know that your joyfulness, your playfulness, that innocence will trigger others. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing because it needs to come up so they can get over it. Um, but at the same time, it's not for you to go run and play in. Like, it's in the background of that card for a reason. Like, yeah, it's in the background for a reason. And you'd be amazed at how, no matter the distance, your energy is still going to trigger. 
it's great. It's meant to be that way. The more triggering going on, the more everybody has the opportunities to become aware that, you know, hey, that's nasty energy. You want to let it go and come play? Um, <clears throat> Whoa, where are we going? So, on this level... You got the strength card underneath. You got the shaman on the bottom with Milky Way perspective and the she wolf with unleash the wild within. All right. So what this is saying is it's not so much saying unleash. It's saying it's already unleashed, right? You like, I feel like it's almost like a, uh, wow, am I really like this? But you're not seeing, um, because you're already transitioning into this energy. You're seeing from a higher perspective, right? Which means when you see from a higher perspective and then you come back into reality, you know where you're navigating because you already kind of like saw the destination, like where do you want to go? And you pinpointed it and then you come back down into your body and then you intuitively guide yourself to where you saw from higher that you wanted to go. Other energies refuse to get that higher perspective, but they also reject that higher perspective as like falsified information because you like, what do you mean you're going to that kingdom? Um, you know, what do you mean you're going to that kingdom on the other side of the mountain? How do you even know that there's a kingdom over there? And you tell them, like, well, you know, I kind of got a higher perspective of it. And they just kind of call you crazy. And then you're like, whatever, I'm going. 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 <laughs> Gotta stop yelling that. <laughs> stop yelling that. Okay. Let's do this. in surrender let it go loved way too many, but I'll take a look at them. No, that was way too many. All right, I guess we're ending it with the loved card. All right, thank you. Um, so, okay, ask and surrender. All right, I'm picking up, like, you are instinctually being led to get over this mountain, right? You've seen the higher perspective of it. You know it's there intuitively. You know it's there. You've got to go. You've got to go. You're going, you're going, you're going. It's leading you there. Um, the trust in the higher forces, it's, uh, this is saying, um, This is saying 
like you will have assistance along the way. Like if you've already decided you're going over that mountain and you've already surrendered to the process, now you got to get, I want to say, now you're being called to get comfortable with like calling in things to assist you, to help you. Um, because it's like the strength card. Well, the strength card is always represented by like, you know, wrestling a lion or climbing the snowy peaks of a mountain. Um, but what I'm picking up is like, there's no, there's no thought of like any difficulties. There's no thought. It's, it's, there's no thought of uh, being unable to accomplish getting over this mountain. Um, the issue is the letting it go. The issue is the other energies that are like, what do you mean? What do you mean? There is this pull between your rational, logical self and your, your intuitive awakening self. Um, The let it go is where the strength. Um, give me a second. Like I'm hearing like, yeah, that's why I was like, whatever. Yeah. This summer is really about you becoming more aware of your intuitive gifts and abilities. It's going to be about you playing with them. It's going to be about you uh, going deep within them. Um, a lot of things are being cleared up. And this is just a time where information and energies are going to be funneling in for you. Um it is completely, I want to say, like, you've got the rational, logical side, and that side is still really evident after a awakening. Um, the more you allow yourself to be in the intuitive, the more it matches up with your logical and rational self. Um, so, yeah, that whatever energy is really good because... It might feel like nothing's really kind of happening at this second, but once this information really starts coming in, it can really take up a lot of your focus and energy because it's like a rabbit hole and you can just keep going down it. Um, I'm going to leave it at that because I keep, I keep being guided to go in further and deeper. Um, but I'm not doing a journey, so doing a general reading. I'm going to leave it at that. If you're still here, thank you so much. I really hope that this helps you through the summer, and I will see you soon. Love you.